So we're uh, stopped for a brief moment. I'm not sure what's gonna be happening next, but uh, it's pretty cool to hang out with all these fire trucks and stuff. That was a TGNY. That's where I used to buy Star Wars action figures. But right now, uh, across the street, there is a little bit of a memorial happening for Corey, so we're gonna go check that out. that's going to be dedicated to Corey pretty cool momentarily. Uh, this is Ashley uh, who lost Corey recently. Uh, I don't know why the camera's shaking. It's, it's all the adrenaline from all the cars. How you feel? Uh, this is exciting because uh, this is a tremendous spot for this. And uh, there's a lot of support. So, it has been. It, it's it's got to be tough though. Yeah, I underestimate it was going to be like thrown in. Yeah, I can imagine. But you know, there's a there's a lot. Like I said, there's a lot of support. A lot of people that uh, uh, that look at firefighters as heroes. And I just had a conversation with the battalion chief, and he would he would say we're not. But the truth is, we all are in our hearts, right? There's an opportunity. They say they're just doing their job. Yeah. Well, their job is much much grander than the rest of us. But I want you to know how happy we are to be here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. Okay. to have Ashley here today for the ceremony. So I'm Richard Lobley, I'm one of the administrators of the Facebook group called The Other Ohio, which kind of put this together. And before we start, we're going to hear from three speakers. Before we start that, I'd just like to thank some people, and then we'll do the uh, dedication of the plaque, and then we'll have the speakers. So everyone who contributed to the, the fund for this, thank you, no matter what the amount it all counted. We'd like to give special mention to the Murphy Brothers, Pat Tim Terry, Cliff Simonson, and the Bentley Ranch for their incredible generosity. In remembrance of Corey Iverson and his family for making the ultimate sacrifice to protect the Ojai Valley, we present the Corey Iverson plaque. decided to honor Corey with a plaque here at Weinberger Memorial Garden. It is fitting that this plaque be located here. First, it's at the, lo it's at the uh, entrance to our city, a reminder that we owe the survival of our town to heroes like Corey.
thank you uh, for being here. Um, I've lost count of how many times um, Corey has been honored in such a beautiful uh, way, and I and I want to thank you all for that. Um, and I want to share with you something that I've taken um, in all of this. Um, the first couple minutes after I was told what happened, I was given a gift, and that gift was gratitude when I asked if anyone else was hurt. So that gratitude has only grown, and it has it's been a piece of what has kept me going through all of this. And I thank all of you so much for your bravery and heroism. To me, Corey was a hero, and to him and all these guys, they're just doing their job. Mobile, Cyan XB, uh, following this great uh, Corvette. That's uh, Marie Magnuson's Corvette. And uh, it's Ojai days today, so it's a bit of a cluster down here, a bit of a mess, but we're making our way to our next destination. is a vintage trailer park, uh, kind of a resort in here, brand new, called Caravan Outpost. Pretty cool. Decker Brands and Maria McCall, mom and son team. That's All right, right. <laughs> rocking. And we have a very interesting location to go to next. What is that? We are going to the Ojai Valley Sign Lookout, and we're going to put some blue lipstick on Decker. Oh no. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs>
what that's about. Uh, we're still going. It's a little windy up here. Back in the mini we go. One Mach 1 Mustang from the Burby Museum. <laughs> Why are we stopping here? This well, is. It says that we're supposed to do the fire drill. So oh, we got, we I got think to do it. We got to do a fire, fire drill. drill. So what's the fire drill again? What is the fire drill? Here, I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay, so this is the fire drill. He gets out of the car, runs around it, That's and runs what back. What are you doing? All right, um, I'm Sierra Whiting. Christian, Christian Whiting. Okay, and uh, these guys represent the Murphy Museum. We do. Yes. And we are driving a 71 Mach 1 right now. Mm -hmm. How's it drive so far? It has been excellent so far. It's been treating me very, very well. Good, it's, good. Uh, I think it's been surprising a lot of people. Because <laughs> it's completely stocked, unrestored. And where, where are we going next? We are headed out towards Santa Paula and we're going to be taking a picture at the St. Thomas Aquinas Tower. Okay, yeah. let's go. trailers, all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, I think we're the first ones here. We're just gonna wait for everyone to show up. Junk Farms. This is an area where the, the studios come in and they pick props, uh, you know, for movies that they're doing. Uh, if you need like a Popeye the Sailor Man, he's sleeping right now, you know, if you need something like that. Or they have cars or uh, old time vintage props, some old trains. Those are pretty cool. And lots of different things. There's another Popeye right there. Making our way down into the dungeons of Funky Junk. Uh, there's some top secret stuff down here. This is where cool stuff happens. Uh, I've never been down here, so let's take a look. Cool down here.
Lodge uh, in Fillmore. I think it's Fillmore. And everyone has to putt now. Has to do a little bit of putting. Seems like I've been going to the bathroom all day long. Some people came here to golf and look at you guys. We came here to relax. Yes, you're doing a great job, man. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Two, three.